My name is Mary Hurley. I'm a civil engineer with Arab based in Galway. Growing up, I never really knew what I wanted to be when I was an adult. In school, I was naturally drawn to the maths and the sciences, and engineering seemed like the logical choice. It's such a broad field with so many opportunities. No two days are the same. I started my career 20 years ago as a structural engineer and I was very excited that one of my first projects was back where I studied back in UCC, designing and constructing a medical campus at Brookfield. This was a very interesting project, it involved restoration of Brookfield House and building new buildings around that. Um, I look at this project with pride, it's very close to my heart, I can look at it and see I made that happen, I can see the difference that I made. You know, as a graduate engineer on it, I got to work on the geotechnical investigations, the structural design, the drainage, construction. It gave me a great foundation that when I transitioned into civil engineering, I could build on that as I gained the technical knowledge of how various different components of large multidisciplinary projects, how they all fit together. I think as civil engineers, it's important that the values we keep are listening and communicating with people. I like to put people at the heart of our projects, be it a building for a client, a transport solution for a city. It's only when we fully understand the problem that we can identify the correct solution. And in developing that correct solution, then there's so many opportunities and how we approach that, we can be as creative as we want. And as well with the climate crisis that we know, sustainability should be at the fore of our thinking when developing solutions. Over the last 20 years, I've worked on many brilliant projects, but the one I'm most proud of is the N6 Galway City Ring Road. It's part of the overarching Galway transport strategy, and it'll leave a positive legacy for the city of Galway and its people. It'll provide a new crossing of the River Carrub, bringing traffic out of the city centre that doesn't need to be there, so the streets within the city can be reallocated for walking, cycling, public transport, and it'll provide a better, more ambient city to be in safer environment and a livable city again. It was a very complex project, with many challenges, but I learned so much from that project. I got to work with the ecologists in developing plans to compensate for the loss of Annex 1 habitat, limestone pavement, protecting bat species, Annex 2 species, things I never dreamt of before. And I was part of that, developing biodiversity gains, which is a very new concept in Ireland. I got to work with geotechnical engineers, hydrogeologists and hydrologists to develop a tunnel under that limestone pavement. I think the future of the engineering profession is an exciting one, particularly if you look at climate change. We've that opportunity as engineers to rethink how we progress transport projects and um, taking a step back rather than just building a new road. Is there a better way to get people and goods moving with an emphasis on walking, cycling, public transport? The transport solution we're progressing on my current project, the N24 Kirch Limerick Junction project, will enable placemaking within the towns and villages along this stretch of the N24 that are currently experiencing significant social, economic and environmental impacts due to lack of proper infrastructure. Building a new road was the last piece of the jigsaw and was only considered if it served the overarching objective of human-centred transport solutions. Career engineering is full of endless opportunities. Every day is so different, every year is so different. There's so many things happening in the world and we get to be involved in making a difference, working with people to solve their problems. For me, civil engineering has been a very rewarding career and continues to give me great satisfaction in my daily job.